we can go through seasons where the fear of the unknown can meet us on each and every new horizon, each and every day. But if we know what's coming at us and we know how to prepare ourselves, we can better meet these challenges in a more confident way. And that's what the Word of God does. If you stay in it and you stay with it, it will let you know and telegraph to you what is coming. So I was reading today in 2 Timothy chapter 3, starting with verse 13, very encouraging. But in the last days, evil men and impostors will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. How many of you know that those who are deceived over a period of time begin to identify with that deception, preach that deception, and believe that deception? But the word that is given to us in verse 14 says, but you must continue in the things which you have learned and been assured of, knowing from whom you have learned them, and that from childhood you have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. And then here's what I love, verse 16. All of us know John 3:16, but how many of us know 2 Timothy 3:16? All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be equipped for every good work. Isn't that an encouraging word? Be sure to stay in the word, stay in the scriptures, learn it, memorize it, uh, answer some of the, the burning questions that people have today with the word of God, because these are words of hope and they are words of like of life. Please like, subscribe, share, and uh, follow us, uh, depending on your social media platform. We'd love to hear from you.